Is Drake hooking up with Black China? Did Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn call it quits? And did Harry Styles come out of the closet this week? What is going on? I have no idea. It's a good thing we have Rumor Patrol. Hey you guys, welcome back to Rumor Patrol. It's Miriam here with Renee, also known as my Doppelganger. Yeah, we actually practiced that. <laughs> we did, it took two tries, it's but the second time. Not even we that impressive. It. But look, we're like twins. Watch this. Now go this way. Good. This isn't from the theater exercises, this is because <laughs> we're actually twins. But you guys, we have so much to talk about today because apparently there's this rumor going around that Harry Styles came out of the closet this week. But we will not start with that one. Instead, we're gonna discuss Rihanna's ex and Rob Kardashian's ex and how they're allegedly. So this rumor, like 95% of rumors on the internet, came from Media Takeout and Hollywood Life, also known as Hollywood, Hollywood Live. Life. <laughs> we didn't rehearse that either. No. Uh, so Drake and China were seen leaving the Nice Guy, which is this really cool club, right down the street from our studios. We could go. We could we just go after go. this. We should totally go. It's Saturday, go. so. They have great french fries. And Drake. <laughs> and Drake. Sometimes. <laughs> so Black China and Drake went separately. They left. Separately, they just happen to be in this place at the same time, and that's when Media Takeout reported, according to multiple sources inside, China and Drake spent the entire night together talking in VIP together, which was said with no evidence. The blog then added that Drake loves well endowed women with loose morals, which, by the way, what is that? Who, what, where did they get this from? Is this something Drake says? Is this like in his Tinder bio? <laughs> Loose morals, that's my thing. And also it's so judgy. Yeah, it like, really is. Who are you to determine who has loose morals? I mean, I mean, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Still. This is ridiculous. I think, first of all, it said right there that it's a cool club. So obviously like cool celebrities are gonna right. go. Doesn't mean they're all and dating. non-cool people aren't gonna go. Not like we could. <laughs> <laughs> And also, technically, you know, these two do have a history. I think they dated more than three years ago, and they haven't really been seen out together ever since. But this is still not being seen together. There is no picture of them together yeah. at the Nice Guy Club. You think there would be one picture? Like they're out in public, someone could have snapped it, this source yeah. could have snapped it. No. Also, they got there, they went separately and they left separately, none of that. Usually with these stories, they're like, but then they left and got into the same car, but like they didn't even do that. Yeah, or like then they left and you know, they were missing their underwear. It was in her purse. Yeah, exactly. Well. But this is not that. This is just a media outlet trying to create some clickbait. So they think it's a juicy idea to pin Drake and Black China together. But there is zero evidence for zero. it. So this one is just, this one's easy. This is absolutely false. false. Mm -hmm. Speaking of rumors of breakups and hookups, there is a breakup rumor that is going viral on the interweb. And that is, did Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn break up? And this like could be true. There's some solid evidence, but like, is it evidence? What is the solid evidence? Okay, so fans started to think that the two broke up because in Taylor Swift's latest album, it was basically a love story for Joe Alwyn. Yeah. And she has a song on the album called Call It What You Want. And the lyrics on it say, I want to wear his initial on a chain around my neck, not because he owns me, because he really knows me. And fans began noticing she has a necklace she wears around her neck with Joe Alwyn's initials right. that she's worn everywhere like over the past all year. all the time. Like in every photograph, people have been seeing this necklace. She did like right. this video series, I think with AT&T, where she wore the necklace. And so that's how we've known they've stuck together this whole time, aside from like the few photographs we've gotten. So we know that they're together because she's wearing his initials. Yeah, because if they've been so private. Like yeah. we wouldn't know any other way. They, right. They're barely photographed. That's like the one window into their relationship. Exactly. They did go on a vacation together recently where they were photographed. But aside from that, we really don't see them. So fans saw, I guess she was recently photographed out in New York and she was not wearing the oh, necklace. No. I know. And here's the thing, it was like one time and she was out, who knows what she was doing. Maybe she took it off, maybe she showered. She's in one, that's bad for jewelry to shower with jewelry. <laughs> maybe she took it off. Yeah, you so. don't want to take a bubble bath while wearing your favorite pendant. Exactly, but I don't know. So she's, it was one like photograph and series. Actually, 
Sometimes she doesn't wear the necklace. She didn't wear it for the Billboard Music Awards. But that's like an outfit thing, I that's feel true. like. That's I, true. Because it's one thing, I think, to not wear it when you're going just out and about, but it's another thing if it's going like, to clash uh, <laughs> with yes. your red carpet outfit. Oh, so true. I understand, like, fans are going crazy on Twitter about this, and I understand where the their fear worries came are, from. Absolutely. But I don't Ooh. think it's safe to say anything until there's more pictures of her without the necklace. And guess what? What? So I think she took, she heard wind. Is that how you say it? Took heard wind? wind heard took wind? wind? Farted? Took, no? no. <laughs> That's not it. I think, I think it took wind. I. So Taylor Swift took wind of this uh, rumor and I think kind of devastated her a little bit because she probably was, things were going great between her and Joe. So when she realized that fans thought that they'd broken up because she wasn't wearing the dumb necklace, it's not dumb, it's a beautiful <laughs> necklace, um, she went out with it today. Okay, so. I mean, by today, I mean a few days ago. <laughs> a few days earlier this week. Because we're shooting this as Saturday. you're watching it. It's the weekend. What? Is it Saturday? <laughs> and yeah, I. the one thing that really made me believe this wasn't true and it was just she happened to go out without it is the fact that they were literally just on vacation together. They were just on vacation like, together. days before you the photo You don't break up right taken. after a vacation. Yeah. So Also, the necklace is back on. So now we know. Now we know. So now we know that the rumor, rumor is so, so false. false that Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn broke up. They're together. They did not. No, nope. they are so together. They're gonna get married, yes. probably. New rumor patrol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. Our last rumor of the day is: Did Harry Styles just come out of the closet this week? I mean, if he did, he's kind of a hero. Yeah, I see. So you. the origin of this rumor is shockingly Harry himself. So as part of his tour, Harry Styles was doing his last concert in the last city. I am proud that it was Los Angeles. And he was on stage when he stops. He pauses for a second and he sees that a fan is holding a sign mm -hmm. and he asks in front of everyone, hey, can I read your sign? And the fan's oh, like, that's my yes, dream. right? That's all I want to happen. To be acknowledged <laughs> by Harry Styles? Yes, said Please. everyone ever. <laughs> so Harry reads the sign and well, here's what happens. Can I read this? It says, <laughs> I'm gay. And then they basically both profess their love to each other, which is really sweet. And then this happened. Thank you for coming. I mean, we're all a little bit gay, aren't we? And of course, the crowd goes wild. Naturally. Yeah. So we do know that Harry Styles is a known advocate for LGBTQ rights. He wears the rainbow flag. He brings it on stage with him. Yeah. And also even recently during one of his concert tours, or well, during one of his concerts in his tour, he actually helped a fan come out of the closet. There was I like, saw that. Wasn't it so cute? If you I didn't see him. it, basically a fan wanted to come out and he found out the fan's mom's name. <laughs> and so then he just shouted out, Tina, she's gay. <laughs> I love that so much. But Harry Styles, he has blatantly said just in interviews he does not talk about his sexuality mm -hmm. so honestly he is he has kind of avoided this topic in a way he's always been supportive of LGBTQ rights always and has always been a, um, like a strong advocate for it and like speaking out all the time right. but for his own sexual preferences, he does not speak out about that. Right. So I think in a Which way- there could be a lot of reasons for that. Oh, absolutely. So I, I don't know. I can see exactly where fans are coming from, but at the same time, it's true. Everyone is on a spectrum. I fully believe that. I totally believe that too. Yeah, sorry to burst your bubbles, but I <laughs> actually do believe that a minority of people are 100% straight and a minority of people are 100% gay. Yeah. I think most people are, as Somewhere. Harry said, a little bit gay? Yes. <laughs> I was like, what is the quote? Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think this is him necessarily coming out of the closet because he said that. Well, I think, see, we it, might disagree here. Really? I think it's a revelation. I think he is revealing that he is a little bit gay. So he is a little bi-curious. Bi-curious. I could see, I, I think it, it confirms he's somewhere on the spectrum. Yeah, it That's what I think it, for sure. I but. totally agree with you. <laughs> so I guess, I don't even know where to take this rumor. Is the rumor that Harry Styles revealed that he is gay in front of his fans true? Can I say a little bit true? Kind of. Gray. Gray, it's gray so gay. gray. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's your turn to comment below and let us know what did you think about Harry's comment? Like, what do you think it means? And how did it make you feel to see Harry Styles possibly profess his bisexuality? 
and talk to a fan in the audience. That's my dream. Anyways, and I want to hear from you guys about this Taylor Swift Joe Alwyn rumor. Obviously, well, maybe not so obviously, we think it's fake. But what did you guys make of it? Did you freak out like I did when you thought they broke up? Let us know <laughs> down in the comments. And, and you can also let us know directly on our socials at Miriam Isa on Twitter, at Miriam underscore Isa on Instagram. And at Renee Ariel on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, because there's two kinds of people that watch Clever. The ones that follow us, and the, and the ones, ones who that don't. don't. Or We're so yes. good today. <laughs> we are. <laughs> it's like our periods are synchronized or something, but more like it our language. Be. It might be. We'll check out our, on yeah, our calendars we'll later. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks so much, and we'll see you soon on another Rumor Patrol. But before you guys go, make sure you click right over here to find out if Ariana Grande cheated on her fiance, Pete Davidson. She did not. And also, make sure you click somewhere here to subscribe. Just somewhere. Here. Somewhere on your screen. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see it. Nothing's really here.